I know it's been a while, but welcome back, 49ers fans. Or even if you're not a 49ers fan, you're a 49ers fan when you watch these videos. Welcome back to the 49ers franchise. Here on Madden 21, still just on the PS4, but we still having fun. We're still having fun, and the next, and the PS5 version doesn't look that good anyways. But anyways, anyways, enough about that. I know it's been a while. I've been busy with school, but now I'm all caught up, and I'm gonna stop procrastinating. I'm gonna do my work on time, but whatever, whatever. It's just channel updates that could be said anytime at the end of the video in this matchup. The 49ers are hosting the Minnesota Vikings, who are clearly not the team they were a few years ago when they were led by a stout defense and beast running game. I mean, they they still have solid players. They still have Dalvin Cook. They're still led by Kirk Cousins. They pretty much look the same. And they added top pick in the draft, linebacker Micah Parsons, seventh overall pick. So we'll keep our eye on him. But this game is already getting underway. On their return, they get about to, to about the 24, and Kirk Cousins comes out. A thousand yards on the season, pretty much 1,100 with um 10 touchdowns, three interceptions. I mean that's that's all right. I mean it's at least he's not harming his team. But you know that they run their offense through Dalvin Cook. Give it to him on the first play of the game. Gets about six. And, yeah. I mean, they still have Justin Jefferson, Kyle Rudolph. They still have some solid players, but they just have not been able to put it together this season. But, in the early going, they're marching. Not even a minute left in the game. They're already closing in on the 50-yard line. Dalvin Cook gets his second carry of the game. He's going to get many more. And, of course, starting this week, getting his shot this week after nearly getting three sacks last week as Cousins takes a shot, and it's tipped and intercepted by Ward. Not a good start <laughs> for Kirk Cousins. Maybe should have just gave it to Dalvin Cook one more time. I was about to say, come on, brick hands in the secondary. Good awareness right there by Jimmy Ward to get it off the deflection. The 49ers come out. Mostert turning his legs, churning, keeping his legs moving. He had 90 yards and a touchdown last week despite only 12 carries. So, I mean, he's been putting up pretty solid games without getting many carries. I like the splits that we have. As this gain of a few yards is going to get called back. So, blocking the back on Debo Samuel. You don't see that too often. He's usually pretty good in run. Blocking. As on second and 11, Cordell Patterson is going to get the yards back and more. And more. I love that signing of him. He's so versatile for us. As him and Mostert are in the backfield on this play, and Mostert is going to get. He was untouched. The blocks weren't even that great. He's just so fast working in space. He just messes up the angles that the defenders are taking. He's faster than you would think. It's different when you're actually on the field. As Kittle is going to make this a third and one. And Lawrence is going to hand it off to Moster. And there's no one even close to him. He easily gets the first down. Averaging 11 yards per carry here in the early going. That's what you love to see. High formation. No play action or anything. Lawrence is going to... Step back to throw, and he's going to gain a few yards. I'm surprised Njoku didn't step up right there. As he's going to give it to the rookie, Michael Carter. Untouched into the end zone. That's what you love to see the rookie eat, and he needs, he needs the XP. All right, sorry for ruining our immersion, but he does need that XP. When they're young, they develop faster. As Kirk Cousins here on the first play, they come out. Justin Jefferson getting the ball. Of course, had a phenomenal, phenomenal rookie season. And he's just a baller. 
He had a pretty good game last game as well. As they're going to give it to him on the sweep. Breaks the tackle. Didn't get much after the contact. But, I mean, he got the first down. That's the most important thing. On second down. Three tight end formation. They give to Cook. Not following his blockers. Trying to make something happen. And Quan Alexander, who is an excellent run stopper off the edge. Another tackle for loss for him. But they get the first down. Kyle Rudolph, I mean, you know that we've struggled with tight ends in the past. We we can't guard tight ends. Any tight ends look like Gronk against us. Or Kelsey against us. As Jefferson is going to get the first down. Working on Sherman. I mean, Sherman's speed. He's not going to be able to keep up with them. But he thought maybe he'd win the press as... Kirk Cousins nearly threw his second interception in the game. That was right to Sherman. I mean, but Jefferson had to play defense right there. That's Cousins is going to find the flat. Barely. That was kind of a tight window. Maybe could have been a dangerous throw. It's KJ Osborne on the catch. Moving the chains. And they're marching, marching, marching. And they run the sweep again to Justin Jefferson. He gets hammered by Nick Bosa. Damn. Didn't even look like he touched them much. That just shows his strength. As Cousins is running out of time. Barely gets it off. Bosa almost had another sack right there. Third and nine. Pretty big possession right here. And Cousins is not even going to give his receivers a shot. He's going to throw it away. Um, what a Kirk Cousins thing to do. <laughs> Fort Niners come out. Could maybe get a two-score lead. Play action motion. And he airs that throw. Let's just say he was throwing it away. I mean, he unintentionally threw it away. <laughs> On third down. It could be a three and out right here. Cordell Patterson in motion. And Lawrence is going to roll left. And Trent Taylor is wide open. How do you miss him? How do you miss him? And the 49ers are going to challenge. And from that angle, I mean... If we're being realistic, they should have been able to see that that clearly, clearly was not in bounds. I mean, that was right on the sideline. So the Vikings come out looking to equalize still. Three tight end formation. Oh, I wonder who it's going to. And it's Dalvin Cook. I, I was a little bit, I was about to say, yo, it's going to Justin Jefferson. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but yeah, it sure enough does go to Dalvin Cook. And we've been a... We've done a pretty good job stopping him in the early going. As Kirk Cousins is going to find K.J. Osborne. He's wide open. Wide open on the curl route. Too much space given up by the safety. There's no one behind you. Step up. Step up. As Cousins is going to find Osborne once again. Looking like their featured receiver here in the early going. Third and inches. You know who's getting it. It's Dalvin Cook. Cutting towards the right side. He doesn't get many yards after that. But nine rushes, 26 yards. That's, that's less than three yards a carry in the early going. As they keep on running that motion. That jet sweep with... Um, I mean, they at least keep on sending him in motion. A little bit confusing. They're taking some pages out of our book, perhaps. As Dalvin Cook's going to get the carry here. Finding space, finally. Gets the first down. And he already has 11 carries in pretty much one corner of football. So you know what their game plan is. He gets it here again. Looking for space, but there's nothing there. About four 49ers defenders just there to make that tackle. Now third and two. Two running back formation. Interesting call. But it was a disguise. As Dalvin Cook just gets the ball once again. And he's building a little bit of momentum. After I said he, that he was just averaging three yards a carry, as Kirk Cousins is going to be dragged down in the backfield. That's Quan Alexander again. Already off to a pretty damn good start to this game. As Cook is going to get the ball again. That seemed like a passing down. I mean, 49ers defense maybe not expecting them to run the ball. But, I mean, with them, you always got to accept them to run the ball. Dalvin Cook is a home run hitter. As Kirk Cousins... What a perfect throw over the coverage of um, Quan Alexander. 
there to Johnson. I mean, maybe Johnson's a home run hitter as well. Well, that that's not really a home run hit. That's a that's a single. That's an RBI single. They scored. So I mean, no difference between a home run hit and an RBI single. Result is the same. It's Cordell Patterson, who's been honestly pretty disappointing as a returner. He's not going to get much yards here. I mean, 22 yards per return, that, I mean, that, that's pretty good, but, I mean, that was a good return right there. As Trevor Lawrence recognizing the man coverage, that man had to go all the way across the field to get his matchup. Good recognition right there by the rookie. He's going to drop back the throw. Pretty clean pocket on third down, but it's in and out of the hands of Debo Samuel. He should have cut that one. But we're, we'll, he's been playing fantastic as of late, so we'll we'll give him a pass right there. Dalvin Cook for sure starting to heat up now. Third and one. They fake it to him. Kirk Cousins met by a lot of people. And Dalvin Cook in the open field throws Sherman to the ground. And add the additional yards because that was a rough in the passer. Damn it. It looked like... The 49ers had the perfect play call for that play action. That just that moment hesitation by those defenders right there. You know, gave up a big game. There were four people, <laughs> four people on the blitz right there, just selling out for the run, and it almost worked in our favor. And on here, third and two, it's Jakiski Tart stepping up and making the tackle, maneuvering around the offensive lineman. And on uh, fourth and three. Up 10 to 7. They're going to go for it here. And Dalvin Cook gets the ball. And it's a first down. So, I mean, good play call right there by them. And look at him. Already eight carries in the first half. He doesn't even look gas. He's still moving the legs. Fighting through contact. Fighting for every inch. As Kirk Cousins is going to find KJ Osborne wide open over the middle. And the Minnesota Vikings... Close to scoring once again. I formation. They give it to Cook. And he's going to spin. Somehow finds the end zone. What? He spun. It looked like he was met by a defender. And he somehow just like stumbled into the end zone. I mean, he's just that fight in him. And don't look now. But the Minnesota Vikings have scored 17 straight points. As Lawrence is going to find... Kittle, I mean, he has a fight in him as well. Only four pass completions in the first half so far for Trevor Lawrence. He's going he's gonna to find a wide open Trent Taylor on the slant. Surprisingly, he's had some catches that have gone for a lot of yards after the catch. I mean, he's he's more of a slot receiver for us, but he, he's been making big plays for us. So he's going to scramble right, throws it to Debo Samuel, and he's Drone. Oh my gosh, somebody check on him. Hard fall, but that was nearly a touchdown right there, and I, I think that's a good shot. High risk, low reward, and Kittle's going to get the first down anyways. Up to the five-yard line. Matchup nightmare. 50 yards in the first half. I mean, you know who George Kittle is. You know who he is. So we're going to give it to Michael Carter. He's dragged down in the backfield. Who is that? Is that Quinny Pay? No, I don't think so. Second and goal. They give it to Samuel. And it's seventh overall pick Micah Parsons. Making the tackle for a loss. Weird play call right there. I mean, we could just run straight ahead. Third and goal. Lawrence scrambling right. Looking for receivers down the field. And he's going to get a pretty damn easy walk in touchdown. I mean, he has that speed. That's something that he, day one, I already talked about it. He's better than Jimmy Garoppolo with that. I feel so much more mobile with um, Trevor Lawrence and Jimmy Garoppolo. And nobody keeping their eyes on the quarterback. I mean, he can make those plays. He can make those plays. Hasn't thrown a passing touchdown yet. Hasn't even thrown really well, but gets to play with his feet. So, I mean, his floor, his floor going into every game is, is pretty damn nice. And that holding call, I mean, that's going to... It was only 18 seconds. It ruined whatever they were trying to do. 
whatever, sh you know, chance they had of scoring. So the 49ers do end that half with a touchdown. But it was 17 straight points for the Vikings. Domination from them. I mean, that's domination. 17 straight points. We didn't score at all after our first touchdown. Well, until the end. So we're going to take some take a look around the league. Look at that. The Browns off to a 4-1 start. Master Teague. What happened to Nick Chubb? The rookie getting a lot of... Getting 20 carries that game. That's odd. I'll have to check on the status of Nick Chubb. Look at Jared Goff balling out. Someone has to win that game. They're both... The Rams are 0-4. Lions 0-3. Dang it. The Rams are that bad, though. <laughs> Free Aaron Donald. Free Aaron Donald. As most just going to get the call here. Taken down once again by Micah Parsons. I mean, we definitely don't want to let him gain that confidence, gain that swagger. He starts making plays. He is athletic. As, oh, Harrison Smith lays the hammer on Trent Taylor here on third down. Making sure those inches count. As Dalvin Cook gets the ball, it's Drain Greenlaw in the backfield. We've been in the backfield a lot this game. But, I mean, Dalvin Cook, he's got his yards. He's got his yards. But, I mean, he already... Does he have 20 carries already? Like, what type of workload did they expect from this guy? As Justin Jefferson, third reception. It, it hasn't even really seemed like he caught the ball before that, if I'm being completely honest. And they're going to give it to Johnson on the sweep. But, I mean, they've run that play too many times. We're, we're there. I think that's Needham Jr. No, it was Bosa on the tackle. Come on. Bosa stack. Kirk Cousins. Blanket coverage down the field. It's Christian Rumpf, our third-round pick. He doesn't really have those pass rush skills developed. I mean, but that was all day. All day from the beat his matchup. Beautiful coverage down the field. Our secondary actually looking decent, and he's on third and 20. It's very nearly a first down. It's KJ Osborne again. Sherman didn't really seem like he was aware of what was going on, but we get the ball. Mostert makes the cut. He's in the open field, and with that speed, can anyone even catch him? No! Touchdown, Raheem Mostert. First play. Home run hitter. Just one cut. One cut and he's gone. Look at that cut. Broke two defenders. Look at number 23. He was he was on skates. He was on skates. Look at that linebacker. He's just He's just um What am I trying to say? That's like a conquistador, you know, he just he just nothing but air. He just missed. But yeah, I don't know if you guys remember the archetype from the previous Madden. One cut. The archetypes are just more basic now. But yeah, Mostert definitely fits that, you know, archetype. Just one cut and he's gone. One cut and he's gone. As Dalvin Cook breaks a tackle. Breaks another one. Down to the 37. What was that like a 20-yard gain right there? Let's I mean, he's one of those runners that when the defense starts getting tired, he just he just sees it as an opportunity to turn it up. He gets he runs better throughout the game. It, it defies logic. It defies logic. I see he's looking for space. Goes to a crowd of like eight defenders somehow. Gets about seven yards. Like what? He started off pretty slow, but he's definitely found his rhythm. And we know that we're, they're going to try to get to him again. They're on the screen. It's Fred Warner making the play. And there were two others in the area. We know. We know. We know to watch for Dalvin Cook. So they're going to attempt the field goal. And that's through the uprights. Warner's lead by one. And a score here. Score here. I mean, score, score, score. You can never have enough points. Play action. Debo Samuel catching on the sideline. Only eight completions in the game so far for Lawrence. But we've scored in in different ways. I mean, all our rushing touch. I mean, 
All our scores are rushing touchdowns. As Lawrence is going to hook up with Samuel. He's been quiet up until this point, breaking a tackle. He's had a few drops. But they were pretty difficult catches, to be fair. Yeah, not a productive game for the passing offense, but we haven't really needed it. 21 points already on the board. As he's going to find Brandon Ayuk. I mean, it looks like Trevor Lawrence, I mean, not a... Not a not a bad passing day because his arm isn't there today. Well, he did miss a throw. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Let's be real. They're gonna. He's gonna check it down to Cathedral Patterson playing limbo here on third and four. Playing limbo. The offensive lineman almost decapitated him right there. Very nice. And our first thing goal from the seven, Michael Carter is gonna rush. For his second touchdown of the game. Let's go. That XP coming in handy. Give us those two touchdown. I don't know if there's a challenge for that. But who cares. As Dalvin Cook. Gets a 15 yard gain. He's gaining gaining momentum. Remember when I said he was less than three yards to carry. Yeah neither do I. <laughs> that seemed like such. Seemed like years ago. Seemed like years ago. He's. Closing in on the five yards to carry. Even with these tackles for loss, he's getting these chunk gains. As Kirk Cousins taking forever in the pocket. It's Nick Bosa with the sack. Which is surprisingly only his second sack of the season. I've, he's definitely been underwhelming this season. But hopefully he can turn it up here in the games to come. As a flag is on the return. And that's going to pin us back even further. I mean, on the 11 yard line. But, I mean, waste more time. Look at the positives always. As Jeff Wilson's going to get the call here. Haven't seen him all game. That's his first rush of the game. It's about four yards. He's, he's going to get it here again. It's exploding. Exploding through the middle. It's a first down right there. See, I like these running back splits. I mean, Raheem Mostert is still fresh. He's still fresh. He hit, I mean, he had that one big run. That's because he was fresh. It's because he was fresh. He was able to make those cuts and just burst. Third and seven. Lawrence is going to find Debo Samuel. He's open on the corner route. Nice route right there. And, I mean, he's our wide receiver one. He's proven that he's capable of that. He's proven himself in clutch spots. And Lawrence has shown a connection with him. And of course, George Kittle as well, who breaks the tackle. Gets to about the 23. I mean, these are our clutch players right here. Ayuk and Kittle. Look for them. Keep your eye on them every play. Because Lawrence is going to be looking their way as he looks their way. Right there. And Steve Sam, he misses them. Third and 12. Third and long again. And he's going to find Debo Samuel again. Who tries to spin out two defenders. And very nearly does. Let's go. Debo Samuel having himself a fourth quarter. It's clutch. As three on the line. They get in the backfield still. They still get in the backfield right there. That's not good. <laughs> Third and 10 once again. He's going to take a shot for... Hassan Butler, and um, that's in and out of his hands. So they're going to have to settle for three. Up 11, I mean, you take that, up two scores. Cousins is going to check it down to Dalvin Cook. Who, look at those nasty cuts. But, I mean, he's cutting towards the sideline, but those are still nasty cuts. As, ooh, on second and three, someone... Was that Sherman just lays out Justin Jefferson? That he landed awkwardly. Let's see how that affects him. And it looks like it. I was gonna say it looked like it didn't affect him as long as he made the catch the very next play. But it's in and out of his hands. You gotta catch that. That it's devastating for them if they don't get the conversion right here. And they do. It's Kyle Rudolph working on Fred Warner. Weird matchup to test, but. I mean, we've had troubles with tight end. 18-yard completion. Let's see what we're going to do here on first and 10.
50 yard line. Cousins steps back to throw. And he finds his uh, Osborne once again. He's had a pretty productive game. Who had him in their fantasy lineups? Probably no one. That's Kyle Rudolph once again. I mean, Cousins is looking his way. I mean, that's the thing about having a... When you have a star running back, you want to get on the ball. But sometimes you're just down so much you can't get on the ball. You have to step back to throw. And that means that you could get sacked by Javon Kimmel. On the screen pass. I don't know why he's so good at that. They throw screens and he just sacks them. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's Osborne working on Casey Hayward. They're settling for a field goal. I mean, you have to in this spot. So all of that time wasted, about three, four minutes of time wasted just to get a field goal. And the 49ers get the ball back. You know what we're going to do. Run the clock out. Our formation is Jeff Wilson. And he's tackled off the edge. Second and nine. I mean, we're letting that play clock go all the way down. We're pitching it to Mostert. And very nearly a loss. He somehow gets four yards. That, that speed. Speed kills. Where we're going to be forced to throw here on third down. Looking for Samuel. He makes the catch. On the 47. Let's go. 21 yards. 100 yards exactly on the day for Debo Samuel. And it feels like all of them have come here in the fourth quarter. As within the two minute warning. Moster gets the first down. And this game is very nearly close. Very nearly over. As, I mean, good stop here right here by Kendricks. Third and five. Will the Niners throw it? No, they just hand it off. It's Michael Carter. So, I mean, they're content settling for three. I mean, this is smart. This is a smart two-score game if he makes it. And this should be well within his range. And sure enough, it's straight through the middle of the uprights. In the middle of the net. So, I mean, not much of a chance. I mean, it's going to take a miracle. It's going to take a miracle. Kirk Cousins stepping back to throw. Hail Mary. Pressure in his face. He finds Jefferson. That seemed like his first catch of the game. Honestly, he hasn't. He's had a pretty quiet game. Cousins step back to throw again. All time to throw this time. It's Osborne. But they don't have any timeouts. He might as well have just thrown it away there. Rushing back to the line. Is he going to spike it? No. And he's going to find a wide open receiver. It's Johnson. But good recovery there by Jakiski Tart to force that incompletion. Let's go. Kirk Cousins checking it down here. I mean, helping out his stats, I guess. I guess he might as well. But... The 49ers are going to win this game. Let's go. We needed this game. We've had too many games where it comes down to the wire. And my heart just can't handle that. It can't handle that on a consistent basis. We win by 11 here. And well, it very nearly came down to the wire. But at least um, the game finish, we, we knew we were going to win. We knew we were going to win. It was garbage time. It was garbage time. At least it was garbage time. Quiet day for Trevor Lawrence, uh, 250 yards, so he moved the football, and uh, no touchdowns, no interceptions, he didn't hurt us, I mean, he, he scored with his feet, he scored with his feet, big day, of course, for Raheem Mostert, I mean, he had that 75-yard run, well, rushing touchdown, and um, he didn't get many carries, I, I like the splits that we have, huge fourth quarter by Debo Samuel, he, I mean, he's establishing himself as one of the best receivers in the game, period. I mean, you saw that fourth quarter. He took over, pretty much. Made some big catches on third downs. And, um, I mean, him and Trevor Lawrence just seem to have a connection. Seem to have a connection. I thought that um, our defensive line played pretty good, all things considered. Especially with probably our best run stopper. Eric Armstead out. Um, Jermaine Flynn. I mean, he didn't have a he didn't have a sack in this game, but I thought he held his own. Same with Contavious Street. Look at these upgrades that we're getting. Michael Carter, yay! The XP he got he got an upgrade. 
Jermaine Flynn got an upgrade. I'm upgrading his power rusher. I maybe should have done a run stopper. But plus two power moves and plus speed. I mean, that's good. It's good. And I'm happy that, um... I'm happy that we, um... I was gonna say trade a D Ford so we can get all these undrafted free agents and stuff. I mean, because they're they're making an impact right here. Jermaine Flynn, he, he had some big sacks last game. Javon Kinlaw getting some nice attributes now. He's close to 85 overall. Developing quite nice. So our defensive line, I mean, with Eric Armstead back, should be pretty stacked. But he won't be back for another like three four weeks and next episode we will face off against the seattle seahawks i mean you know 49ers seahawks one of the best rivalries and russell wilson of course in the early season looking like an mvp candidate he does that every year then he'll fall off and we'll i mean we'll have a reunion reunion with kendrick Bourne. he signed with them signed to a rival why do they always do that they always sign to the Seahawks or Raiders or Dodgers if we're talking baseball. Yeah, I mean, it's, it sucks. It sucks to see him in that uniform. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try to upload more consistently. I, I was just um, working very hard at school. Um, so I don't really have time to make videos. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'm, I'm feeling kind of sick. I don't know if you could tell, like, from my voice. And with well, the constant sniffling and stuff. But, yeah, I, I'm not feeling that well. So, sorry if I seem, like, different this video. And, well, have a good day. I don't know what else to say. Have a good day. More videos would come in soon. My next video will probably be um, the Oakland Pirates franchise. Those are pretty easy to make. Cause they're, I usually do them live commentary. But it might be a little... I'll talk about it in that video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. And all that, you know. I mean, you you watch YouTube. If, you, if you're watching me, you definitely watch YouTube. You somehow stumbled across this. You're, you're in the depths. You're in the depths of this website. So, you know how to do all that. And if you enjoy, I mean, leave a comment. Tell me, tell me that I'm trash, that my mic is trash, that I, I need to get better at editing, stuff like that. Come on, just give me, give me any help. Input, input would be appreciated. Have a good day, y'all.